So we had to get a Grand Hotel like the night before so we could do the setup. Um, we woke up the next morning pretty early and set up the tables. We had to move the tables around so they would make sense for the exhibition. Then we had to set up the projection table. We had to screw it together. And then we had to um, set it up to the right height so the projection would work correctly. After setting up the projection table, we set up the other tables. So we had to put like a fishing net out for the Ojibwe table. Um, and then it all took about three and a half hours together. But once we had all of the displays we wanted them, then we opened up the exhibition to the public. Looking at the menus was, was uh, clearly fun because it gives you an opportunity to uh, kind of take yourself back in time and, and sort of feel and see what those people experienced many years ago. It's interesting to see what things cost back then. Prices certainly have increased since then. And uh, even the offerings, I believe today, are, are different because we're, we're such a global world now. It's one thing to read about uh, the things that are going on at the university in the alumni magazine, but to actually be able to see students and see what the magnificent things that they're doing is just, it's really inspiring. It makes you feel good that uh, you know this generation is just going to go out and produce great things. <music>